So, here we are again with another episode of Andor. There are a lot of pieces coming together, and honestly, all I can say today is how many guards on each level? Never more than 12. Let's go, baby, because today we're watching. <gasps> Another episode of Andor. Let's go. We're still in the prison system, which is troubling because all of the sentences are doubled, as we know. You watched it with me. And I've been thinking about the previous episodes and I've been theorizing because it's been two weeks since I watched Andor. So my brain has been thinking, I'll show you later, okay? I'll talk to you later about those. And or, ooh, the music is really picking up. Episode nine, let's go. You guys told me 10 is another climax, so I'm waiting for that. Right, Biggs. I don't like wasting time. I'm sorry. I'm already pausing. But did you hear her neck crack? Like, she is terrifying. Already I'm scared because we've been rooting for her this entire time and I, I can't pause like a second into this. We have been rooting for her this entire time when she was in her job in in the office against pitted against other people and we have been rooting for her because she's just so clever and then you take a step back and see her in the situations with our heroes heroes and you're like oh yeah she's actually a villain a very smart villain maybe we don't want a smart villain i don't like wasting time you pull in the net, and the easy thing is to assume that everything you've dragged to shore is a fish. She doesn't look good. But I take a more nuanced view. Nuanced? Hmm? Like Andor itself? I try. So here's what we'll do, Bix. I'll tell you everything I know to be true, and in doing so, perhaps convince you to cooperate without intervention. Bix. Failing that, we have Dr. Gorst. Oh, no who's developed a unique interview system some of us are very excited about. Oh, really now? As you now know, we brought in Salman Park last night. Mm -hmm. We tracked him to a radio hidden in his yard and thought he might cooperate without encouragement. For a man with very little actual rebellious activity on his resume, he was remarkably resistant. Yeah. Which, of course, just makes us think there's more to be learned. Yeah, shit. Which leads to a longer session. And there we are, wasting time. And she doesn't like that. In the end, it was a very poor decision on his part. We learned everything we needed to know, and quite frankly, it hardly seems worth the price he's paid. What price did he pay? Oh, is this another scare tactic? Because it's scaring me. Londra, where he met a woman who suggested that if he was serious about politics, he might like to act as liaison for Ferrex when he returned home. He was sent the fractal radio unit you used yesterday afternoon. This unknown woman who recruited him to the cause... The woman in the shop. ...seemed less interested in generating political activity on Ferrex than she was in using your planet's unique commercial position to acquire stolen Imperial equipment. Did you know Salmon Park was paid to keep that radio alive? Did you know you were the only one to use it? Ever? Were you aware that the buyer, your contact, met Park only once before being turned over to you? Oh. Oh my gosh, truly, just a middleman. You're in my net, Biggs. Are you a fish? Are you a fish or are you a thief? Hmm? Seems a shame to end up on the carving board if your motivation here is just money. It wasn't. You have no recorded history of political troublemaking. Now, I would prefer a conversation rather than put Dr. Gorst back to work. Back to work with Pack. Hmm? Like Pack. Oh my god. Your eyes be, aren't you? Worst of the worst. Worst of the worst. And she's worst of them You're all! You're going to tell me absolutely everything you know about the buyer. You seem to enjoy this. You're going to tell me all about Cassie and Andor and their relationship. She seems to enjoy this. I think she enjoys being the superior in the room. In every room. She enjoys being the smartest person in the room. Yeah, I think she's right. Bix is right. She is enjoying this because she caught you. She thinks she caught her. Are you a fish or are you a thief? Bix was the more valuable asset to them. That's interesting. 
going to tell me all about Cassie and Andor and their relationship? They don't have a relationship. A full, detailed accounting of every single piece of stolen Imperial equipment you've passed along. Where it came from, who was bribed along the way, and where it is gone. Oh. I don't know the buyer. Oh, no. Really? Really. Oh, Biggs! Well, Simon Park says you've had at least six meetings he's aware of. He snitched! <laughs> I signal. Sometimes he answers. He comes, he buys, he leaves. It is the truth. It is the truth, though. Six face-to-face -face meetings. He and Andor blowing up buildings and killing security guards. You're injured trying to warn them. Nah. Your co-worker is killed trying to win your freedom. You don't know the nuance of it. <laughs> Escape together. It wasn't planned, babe. It sounds to me like a nest of relationships. Honestly, it was a lot of coincidences that made that happen. Because we know that Luthen did come for the equipment, but then in the end saw a more valuable asset in Cassian Andor for the mission of Aldani. It wasn't planned, Cassian sure didn't know. Biggs as sure as hell didn't know about that plan going on. I mean, she just wanted to help Cassian get rid of the stolen tech because Cassian was in trouble again. So, thanks Cassian! <laughs> Great! And again, she gets in trouble because she uses the radio again to signal Luthen, hoping to pick up and to find out more information about Cassian once again because of Marva, because Marva is sick. So, Cassian, you better rescue my girl because I'm gonna be very upset if something happens to Biggs. When was the last time you spoke with Cassian Andor? The very worst thing you can do right now is bore me. Or waste my time. You're not gonna believe me anyway, are you? No. Oh my god! I suppose not. They're both really clever. Oh my god, she's, she's terrifying! Thank you. No, 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 thank you. No, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no. <laughs> Did you see the lost look on her face when she looked at Biggs? That was terrifying! Oh, you could almost see the veins popping out of her skull! Jesus Christ, girl! Oh, I'm really worried for Biggs. I, I mean, she's holding up really well, Biggs. I am really proud of her. I'm just really worried once the doctor gets her hands on her, like we are going to see. I don't think she'll betray Cassian. I think she's really loyal. I think she is more willing to give up Luthen than she would Cassian. And in the end, the ISB is really looking for Luthen, the older man with Cassian and or because this was the first mistake he made with Cassian. He became reckless because Luthen was hiding for too long in his own words. I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long. Leaving little tracks though for the ISB. I'm thinking Luthen. Ooh. I'm just thinking Biggs will be more willing to say and give information about Luthen, even though she doesn't really know that much about him, than Andor, Cashin. Because because that's still her boy and nah. Nah. Oh my god, prison. Okay. Table five, let's go. Table five I should not be rooting. God, fly. Table three. They won't be short-handed all day. There's a new man coming down, and we Ooh. can take the ship if we push. Two, that's a threat. Good luck. What do you say, old timer? Oh no. Short timer. My hand. I might need some help. Yeah. The twitch. What? Come on. Yeah, his hand. It was signed in the previous episode as well that he is slowing the team down. And my worry was previously that they were going to be upset because of the old man, because they are. He is slowing the entire table down, causing them to not win and get 
proper food or even worse get shocked again because they lost i haven't seen much frustration yet but i imagine in real life that would really happen and normally you would feel very sympathetic towards an older man when he's in pain but in a situation like that that all of your combined effort means if you're going to eat well or not or if you are going to get punished or not frustrations would normally tend to happen i'm feeling they really are working together well and thinking of solutions how to win anyway even with the handicap that they have instead of being mad i'm hoping it will stay like that but who knows also the system that they are in that the empire cooked up for them in this prison system turning all of the tables and rooms against each other they seem to be very caught up in it but at the same time the prisoners are also really upset about the sentences being doubled and tripled so there's a lot of unrest and they are mad and i do think they realize who the true enemy is these rooms and these tables are really just a distraction the empire cooked up but i still think they know in their hearts and maybe that's why they're not so mad at the old man because they know in their hearts the old man is not the enemy the other table isn't the enemy not the other room it's the empire that's all What's all this? Oh, just a little rebalancing. What do you want? Be 41 shift tomorrow. You are the next man out. You are the shortest of the short. Aww. Just swap your idea. Me? No. It's Tiger. Are you kidding? Turn. Wise move. Ula is going home. The man for them today. Always the next day, right? Oh. You know the drill. Oh, he's like, uh uh, don't you try. Oh, Ula. 41 shifts and he's done but look how much more can he enjoy of life how long has he been in here oh the, the restraints are nothing to be feared uh, it's much safer for you to be tethered as we engage what do you mean what there's nothing intrinsically um physical about this process but we've had some early trials that were a bit chaotic oh oh you're happy okay great lovely that you're laughing about that what a creep there's an outer rim moon called dies on fray there was a sentient species there quite unusual Extremely hostile to the concept of an imperial refueling center that was being planned. I say was because they created such a stir that the local commanders were granted permission to use any means necessary. And, um, well, <coughs> it's important for our purposes here today that the massacre of the Dizonites was broadcast. They make a sound as they die, a sort of choral, agonized pleading. Jesus, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a lot to take in. I mean, I assume you have to be a little bit cuckoo to really enjoy talking about the fact that so many of those natives were slaughtered for, with any force necessary. And also that you're smiling and making little jokes when you have to, I don't know how yet, but essentially torture this young woman or and the one who came before and you're still smiley about it because you're enjoying it it takes a kind of a sick twisted person to enjoy other people's suffering and even worse enjoying thinking of new ways to make them suffer it's ew i i'm, I'm getting the creeps i am getting the creeps there were three communications officers monitoring the documentation and they were found hours later huddled together in, in various states of emotional distress we've taken the recordings no. and modified them slightly no and we found a section of what we believe are primarily children which has its own particular effect fix breaths this uh this shit advice i know but take a breath and prepare yourself because what the fuck doesn't take long oh i got shivers it won't feel that way to you inside him oh great thank you for the reassurance asshole let me know when you're willing to cooperate. Oh, and if you're having difficulty speaking, just shake your head from side to side. Oh my God! You'll want to be sure of that, Bix. That you're cooperating fully. It's repeat listenings that cause the most damage. Are we ready? Damage? Let's no, get on with it. No, no, no! <gasps> she doesn't deserve that. Me so bad. That makes me so bad. That makes me so bad. 
that. She doesn't deserve that. She doesn't deserve that. It's great acting, by the way. Holy shit, that was amazing. The frowns, the, the, the pain in her eyes. It was great acting. But oh, I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> if Cassian doesn't kill her, I will. Oh, I was rooting for her and now I want her dead. <laughs> Listen. I was so impressed by her intelligence that I was like, yeah, you go girl, you get that bag, you do anything you want. And now I'm like, I'm gonna murder you for hurting Biggs. Oh no. Ah, this is giving me the creeps now. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Fuck, what the fuck? Oh man. Oh, why is this giving me the creeps now? Oh, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. I'm taking my run. Oh, you can do that? You can just do that? Oh, that's kind of free. Oh, he didn't enjoy that, though. Oh, oh, oh. Interesting, actually. Is Cashin already dealing within the prison system? Yo, is Cashin fast or what? What is he doing? Oh, <gasps> shut up. They're already planning a sabotage of the prison system? Is that... On the floor. Everyone hold position. They taking little breaks. They are taking little breaks one by one because apparently taking the looks that they give each other. Are they taking turns to try and screw up the plumbing? I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna say it in Dutch. The bouge <laughs> to the floor, so it doesn't. Oh, if they can disable the floor, that's gonna be... Because the floor is the only thing keeping them here and keeping them to obey. Because there are no guards on the ground floor. They only come down when they bring in a new person or to take a dead body. Oh, that would give them so much freedom. And so many prisoners against so many guards in their little heavy boots. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Do you think only one tube is going to work for that though? For the entire prison system. But okay, they're, they're oh, of course, this is so cash in Andor. Because how long has he been here? I, I remember like 40 shifts later, so maybe like couple of months at most and he's already coming in rebellion because he wants to escape because there's no way he's gonna sit six years doing this work for the empire in a prison system and others are, are fed up because of the double sentences and we saw the signing let's go taking little breaks to do that you man on the floor hold your positions next to the guy the other guy who gave him a look two men back Two weapons. Ooh. No boots. No boots. No boots. Oh shit. Silence! He's touching the rail. Believe me now, the elevator's not wired. Nothing that moves can fry you. Nothing that moves can fry you. Okay, that's good to know. Idea. We attack while they're coming down. No. They'll just go back up. No. We make it stop. We shut it down halfway. Take one guard, one weapon. Is unit 5-2-D. Oh, there. Level 5. Oh, God, it's starting. The 49 men in this room answer to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because you saw from the very beginning that Cassian is picking up signs the moment he arrived. Like, what's happening there? Where are the weaknesses? What's the weakness in this prison? And how can I exploit those weaknesses for my own gain so I can get out of here? And it might take time, but he's still looking. And now he has found a companion. And who knows how many others? Because he already saw people signing on the bridge. And he's like, oh, something else is going on. He's perspective. And now they're working together. And now a plan is coming up. And if they can get more people on board... People who are already so fed up because of their double sentencing. Prison break. Prison break. Come on, give me a prison break. I'm so ready. Oh, no, 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 no. She didn't budge. Don't put them away. Don't touch her, creep. No, I don't like you anymore. Shall we begin? When was the last time you spoke with Cassian and all? She's a creep! It. Oh, she's enjoying this too much. Big surprise. I know. Ready up. Where do we stand? Are we in the game? We're up a rack with an hour left. What? What's on now? 
just talked about this. He told you two minutes ago. Oh no, babe. Do you think I don't want to win? Am I working or not? One rack up. I was to lose. Sure. What are you waiting for? Oh, 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 yeah. This is often a thing that happens with older people as well. When their bodies don't want to work with them anymore, they get frustrated because they want to be efficient in the team, in society. But people, they often write them off and they get to a certain age and feel like they can't perform like they used to anymore. And therefore society often deems those people unimportant. I'm not saying these people are doing that, but there's a lot of frustration in elderly and it's a very lonely existence and it's a very frustrating existence where you can't do what you want to do anymore because you're getting old and he doesn't remember. You told him two minutes ago and he gets frustrated like, oh, my body is not the same. Mind is not the same how it used to be and it frustrates him. And he's like, I still want to work. I, I'm still good enough. I still have value. It's it's kind of sad, honestly. I feel for Olaf. Oh, Cash, and does he remind him of Marva in a way? That's sad. Keep her here. Keep her alive. As a witness. She's the only one we've got who can identify Axis. And Salmon Park? I don't care. I'd like to hang him. What's left of- Shut up. Make sure they know who's in charge. As you wish. Oh, oh I f I'm, I'm worried that the son is going to come in rebellion if he sees his father hang, like Cash and saw Clem hang. Oh, no. From Chandrilla stands with those in opposition to the Emperor's new public safety legislation. Directive is the next step on an all too predictable march toward complete unchallenged authority. Oof. Those of you who still believe that when we enter this building, we are in a temple. Didn't work the way she wanted. They called from the residence your cousin. She's arrived. Cousin? What? She? Your cousin? Well, they said you'd want to know. We don't trust the driver either, so... Because we know he's here to watch her every move. Ooh! Yeah. They could keep us here forever if they wanted. That's enough from you, Mel. Something's wrong. Whatever it is, they're taking a time about it. What's going on? What are they saying? I think it's level two. Ooh, it's very up in the open. What happened at level two? This is what happens when you don't have guards on the ground because they trust the floor too much. You're right, you know. I'm fine. Oh, no. Level two, far side. Something broken. What's he saying? Level two. He's coming this way around now. Ooh. What's he saying? What? So much unrest. What was that? What is that? It's nothing. Someone didn't load in. They are counting. So they cut the power? <laughs> what do you think's happening? Alarm. It's two. Something's wrong on two. What's They're happened? They're going too fast. I can't read it. Everybody calm down. Something's oh. really wrong on two. You haven't got a clue what they are saying. Level two, far side. It takes a week for one word to get all the way up here and you're panicking about something that's happening on the other side of the building. You seem to be panicking. How many? You seem to be panicking. I mean, yeah, he was also really stressed something is happening on two, but he wants to know, is there punishment going on? Is there already an act of rebellion in two going on? What happened at two? But he is a little frightened, more so for his own position, I think, because he has power in the room. What if all that I have worked for in this prison system for how fucking long is all coming down, crumbling right before my eyes? We're all gonna calm down because I am in power here. I've worked my way up in power here and you're gonna shut up and we're all not gonna panic. Because he's got so many shifts left and then he's out and he's worked for this this entire time. Did I really put in so much effort for this prison and the empire only to see it crumble in the very end? Interesting. All of that power he has on the floor. I'm, I'm, I'm psychoanalyzing him again. I'm, I'm thinking he's panicking for his own position and for what he has done in the past, if it was really worth it in the end. Who knows? Did he forget the true enemy? I don't know. How many hands does it take for one word to get through up here? Family points on program. Feet down, face front, hands on heads. We will have immediate facility compliance or we will begin activating floors without warning. Oof. Original shift. There you go. What happened? All of the bridges are walking. Okay. 
What happened at two? Oh, it's amazing. Oh, oh no. Oh, Belle's been to Tassia Moon. Look what she brought me. Your father may have an opinion. We'll see if he lets you wear it. He lets me do anything I want. Aunt Vel? <gasps> Aunt Vel? Shut up. Shut up, shut up. Little rich girl, little rich girl running away from her home. Sinta. Cousins? Cousins? I didn't even understand or notice what the girl was saying. I was like, Vel? Vel? I just, ah, oh, wow. Of course, there was a hint. Little rich girl running away, and here she is. They are cousins. Bro. Bro. I already had the theory, so now's the time to talk about the theory. <laughs> Because they are, I already felt like they were sort of cut from the same cloth. Questioning the ruthlessness of Luton's way for the rebellion and for the upcoming alliance. There is no alliance yet, but the upcoming rebellion that is gathering because Luthen and Sinta and the girl at the shop, I forget her name this entire time. I'm so sorry. It just, it doesn't come up that much. But those three seem very ruthless in their decision-making. And for a rebellion, yeah, you kind of have to, but these two are clearly disagreeing with the direction that the rebellion is taking. People are going to suffer. She, what about the people? I thought he'd be here. People have died on the mission of Aldani. They're more sympathetic. They still have their morals intact. And even though sometimes I get frustrated with Vel because she's in a leadership position involved with another person on the team that frustrated me, but they are sort of on equal field here. So I'm wondering especially after the conversation Luthen had with Saw, who is deemed to be sort of an extremist. I'm wondering if the Rebel Alliance is going to split ways and that only the Rebel Alliance from Momotha and Vel maybe will bond together for one sanction of the rebellion and Luthen has his own sanction. But in the end, Momotha's sanction and maybe Vel's sanction will be the prevailing force? I, I don't know. I feel like there's going to be some disconnect. She is still very in. She's also still very in with the Rebel Alliance. Maybe Luthen will take a more direct approach, an extreme approach, while Momotha's approach keeps the people further in mind. Luthen needs people to stand up. Unrest, rebellion, people will suffer, but people already have suffered. We need to strike now. But what about the people? I need more funding. She is working for funding on her own. I'm, I'm thinking there's gonna be two sections here. I'm thinking those two are gonna work together. More so than with Luthen at this point, I think. I think, I think, I don't know. I, I, that was my theory. Where have you been? Traveling. Six months? There's a lot to see. Mission. Look at you. The Empire doesn't rest, Mon. The Rebellion comes first. They are, they are aware. Okay. We take what's left. We take what's left. Tell me you're going. We take what's left. Oh, you little shit, Phil, because Sinta said that to you. Sinta said that to you because you needed a mirror. Sinta is a mirror. This is why Phil loves Sinta, because she shows what Phil needs to see. And, and now she's mirroring that same sentence to Momotha. We take what's left. The rebellion comes first. I'm wondering if she means it. We take what's left. Tell me you're going home for a visit. They've been after me to find you. Seriously, Belle, what does he have you doing? She knows. Who? Very no one good. to worry about. Trapped here, boxed in. Please tell me you're being careful. Things are happening. I'm starting to think we're in over our heads. He's got a spinning Stop. out of it. Took a vow. A vow. There's no backing Biff. out. <laughs> there's no backing out. Surrender if you want and be done with it. But there's no backing out. You took an oath. They all took oaths. Securing loyalty. Interesting. Never think about escaping? No, I won't answer that. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Flat that mouth if it was any longer. You'll regress it. I'll jump over lava then. How many guards on each level? Oh, here we go. If you want out of here alive, turn that part of your mind. Off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not gonna happen. He's trying to recruit Cassian. How many shifts you have left? 217. Tell me what you know before you go. You've been warned. You think they care what we say? You're on your own with this. You think they're listening? 
They don't care. You think they care enough to make an effort? Like you would know. Well, obviously they don't care to go inside on the ground floor because they trust the floor so much. They let people sign whenever they want because they're not focusing on that. They don't know. If they would really care, you don't think that the people that were signing on the bridge were already being punished or reprimanded for that. I don't think they're listening either. If they are, <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Or they just trust the floor enough and they're arrogant and they're fat and they're lazy and they're like, you know what, the floor will handle that. Let them brew. We're confident. The Empire doesn't expect a rebellion to happen. They don't need to care. All they need to do is turn this floor on twice a day and keep their numbers rolling. Lazy. Why bother listening to us? Oh. We are nothing to them. Melch is right. We're cheaper than droids and easier to replace. You're right. Good luck to you. Oh, he doesn't want to hear it. How many guards on each level? Mm. He's worked too hard to come this far, Cassian, in their system. He's worked himself up in their system. It's gonna be hard to switch back from that. Nobody's listening! Nobody's listening! Jesus, this is so good. Also, some of you mentioned that Melshi, I believe, was the one under Cassian's command in Rogue One. I didn't recognize him, so I have to look that up. I really didn't recognize him, but that's a good... That's, that's interesting. But no ID on your axis. He's still just the buyer. It's disappointing, I know, but it does suggest the scope of what he's doing. Mm. Axis obviously runs a very disciplined operation and one that's large enough to not be reliant on any one network or supplier. Kaleen gave us a list of every piece of gear that came through Ferrix, and we think we've already got a match to a targeting unit recovered from a safe house operated by a rebel cell associated with Maya Pei. Andor. He's all the way through this. He's the local thief, right? The runaway murderer? And or returned to Ferrix three nights after Aldani with money in his pocket. You're trying to connect Aldani? That's a bit of a stretch. Oh, she's so clever. He was clean shaven. Shit! And or had shaved. The assistants. He'd shaved his beard. The rebels at Aldani were clean shaven. Oh, wow. We soldiers from the garrison who got a look at him felt there was some similarity to our ref's picture. Well, that's worth running down. Damn it. Now, Dani connection would certainly amplify interest. Damn it. Let's follow that up. Those two. You didn't question them. Oh, mother. they're happy about that. They gave them each other a little look like we did that. They love working together. And the thing is, I love seeing them work together too because it's really an interesting watch. But I, I can't forget the look on her face when she was talking to Biggs and she was enjoying seeing her so frightened. I'm, I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> you are a worthy opponent and you are a very interesting watch, but I'm gonna have to kill you. You, you touch my girl Biggs, you're gonna have to die. <laughs> but this is, this is an interesting duo. I, I, I hate. I absolutely hate that I enjoy this, that I enjoy these little interactions from people I should not like. <laughs> it's a very frustrating thing for me, but I love it. You didn't question the mother? Marva. I decided to wait. Better now leaving her in place and standing back. She's too old and frail for anything serious, and if nothing else, she's our bait. Perhaps they communicate. If they are, no. we'll know. No. We're on her full time. No, Marva. And she is in active rebellion lately. Oh, I'm worried. Do not hurt Marva. Just let her on the background, like you mentioned. No. What happened in two? What? What happened to you in two five? What happened? We weren't told anything. You're kidding. Tell. They don't know about it. Tell. They were fried out. <gasps> They're all gone. Who said? Both shifts. You heard nothing. What did he say? I don't know. They're all dead. They got fried. He said they fried the whole bridge. Speak up. The whole bridge? Is it true? Yeah, they were making trouble. On program, feet down. We will have immediate facility compliance when we will begin activating. What did he say? They were making trouble. He set them all free. Oh! No program! You know, we need to be careful. The less they think we know, the better. They were making trouble, so they were fried. Hold your program! He's freaked out, man. Tighten up and listen! I'm freaked out. It's a rumor. We have heard nothing. He's listening to Acacian. Good. He recognizes Just that. Just another day, another shift. So let's keep our mouths shut, keep our heads down until we know what's going on. Great actor. 
Gollum, you're a great actor. <laughs> oh, he's freaking out. Oh my god. And this is gonna be so intriguing because... Oh, so much cat hair now. <laughs> because now they're thinking they can just fry us. They're, they're, just, they're just gonna fry us. We need to get out. It's gonna cause unrest. The more they push down, the more people are gonna come in rebellion. But they're also very much like, keep your shit together. Because if we're gonna do this, then we need to remain quiet, compliant, until it's time to strike. At least that's Cassian's way. The person in charge just wants to get through his 217 shifts before he's out of here. At least for now. But oh, fright? That's terrifying. If I would imagine myself in a situation like that, where I'm working my ass off and the floor is a constant threat and then you hear something happened on another sanction on the bridge that they were all murdered because of the heated floor, that would freak me out. That would freak me out. <laughs> God, that's, that's, that's terrifying, really. I would want to get out of there as soon as possible. I'm just saying. Oh, late, oh, oh, early. Oh, mommy. Dressed and groomed. Trimmed your hair. Something I should know. I told you not to leave dinner out last night. Girl, maybe. Her message was so brief. One worries. Searching my room again. Ooh. It's called cleaning. I like a tidy house. It's, it's called snooping, box. and it's called privacy. Oh, I don't like that, ma'am. No, you don't get to do that. I feel like even children return to their parents' home. They need their own privacy. Ch young children need their privacy. Of course, you gotta keep an eye on them, but this is ridiculous. Nah, you don't, you don't do that, ma'am. That pisses me off. Also, people who actually take the doors away from their children to punish them. You don't deserve privacy. It's a basic right, bitch. I have ways of knowing. Tests you, ma'am. I find you a job. No. I press your uniform. No. I prepare two meals a day. Oh. I move mountains to scrape you off the floor and put you back on your feet. And what do I reap? What, you do the bare minimum for your son, taking care of your son? Does it end when he's 18? All you did was help him get a job. Okay, sure, he can be grateful for that and thank you. But what you're not gonna do is... It's gonna turn that kindness around so you can... This pisses me really much. So you can sabotage and guilt trip him for it when you don't get your way. That is n so you can get sympathy. I do all of these things for you. I am such a great parent and this is how you treat me? If you don't want to do that shit, don't do that shit. But don't complain about it later. I hate that attitude. Don't start. I you're pissing me off today, ma'am. What is the return on my investment? You were you it's your child, you son of a bitch! <laughs> what do you mean? She sees him, that's what it is. She sees him as an investment for the family. Are you joking? Why do you have children? He's your child! What's your... why are you so... You piss me off. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the way she was still caring for him, giving him food. I love you. Have a little bit more food, you know. But now I'm like, okay, you're just doing this. Are you? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of it in a different light. But you're just doing this so you can get a return on your investment because that's what he is. You're, he's just an investment to you, and what can you get in return from it? Selfish thinking. Self is narcissistic thinking. <sighs> Do better. Be a better parent. You're a parent. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, I'm pissed. We're talking about you snooping on me. The shadow of a son. A tenant. A stranger. Oh, that's new. You want to remember that. What if I'd let your neglect drive me insane? Imagine that. You're a neglect. Nor... Why? She's blaming him for everything. She could have called him. Come and visit your neglect. What about your your neglect? Why didn't you call him? Why are you guilt tripping him? Why didn't you give him the proper care he needed when he was young? Because now he's seeking validation everywhere else he can find because of his high collar. Notice me. Deem me worthy. Because your mother, his mother never did it. Where's your care? What about your neglect? I am... 
You stop. Look back just months ago, when you could easily ignore me. Imagine, imagine I'd cracked under the weight of your neglect. Imagine I'd cracked and wasn't here now to pick up the pieces. Okay. Maybe I should not be too hard. It's really hard because I, I'm, I'm mad at her. But maybe this is just her way of saying, telling him, you hurt me when you did not reach out to me while you were away on Morlana for so long. Why didn't you reach out? But instead of asking him that, like, what is the reason why... You didn't reach out to me, and maybe his reasoning was, Mom, you treat me like shit. <laughs> you have always treated me like an, an investment, not giving him the care he needed, always belittling him. Maybe that's why he didn't reach out, Mom. But instead of asking that, she just goes on this tantrum and blaming him for a lot of things that really may be a projection of how she treated him in the past. Why do you think he did not reach out, ma'am? You can't be mad he didn't reach out, but why do you think? Why do you think he didn't reach out? Why did he go no contact? Maybe think within yourself for a minute before blaming your son again. You're the parent. I feel you have the responsibility to reach out to your child when something is clearly off, but could be me. I've been promoted. Oh, your return on investment. There you go. Oh, oh, now she's happy. I knew they'd recognize your own. Oh my god! The demands of my time will be increased. Uncle Harlow will be so pleased. And now she praises him because he did... Oh, I hate that. Oh no, no, I hate that. I hate that. I'm gonna cry. Because, oh, that's so sad. I don't know why that made me emotional, but that's all that hit me so hard. And mostly because I, in the very first episode, we saw, well, not the very first, but the first episode we saw the two of them together, they had a discussion. And then in the end, she was like, you know what, I'm going to get a job for you. And here, have more food. And now she is pleased. First, she belittles him and she's mad at him. What's my return on investment? And then he says, I'm promoted. And she immediately cheers up. And she's like, this is what I meant. And she does the same thing. And she gives him more food to reward him. You do something great for me. You do something well for me. Well, here's your rewards. Now you get affection. Now you get love. Because she did something good. But that love is not constant. It's a reward system. Shit, I feel so bad for him. Whew. Her affection is a reward system. You do something right, you get love. That's not okay. Right. I'm there, I'm there. I got it. Oh, Ula. He's trying. Oh, I'm worried he's gonna hurt himself. I'm so worried he's gonna injure himself. Just let him stay there. I feel so bad for Olaf. He's trying so desperately to be useful. He's gonna hurt himself. He's gonna injure himself. I'm so worried. How about to Chandra today? Yes, the pilgrimage. Find yourself a husband? Wasn't on my list of things to do. Well, you need a widower at this point. Who's left of any- Fuck you. You need a widower at this point? Because she's- She's what, no longer 25? Well, you need a widower at this point. Who's left of any value at your age? Yes. All the good ones are taken. Oh. <laughs> like what, you gotta settle for a guy that you don't even like then? No, you're gonna find a husband who is even... Who's left of any value at your age? Wow, that mindset is pissing me off. And you know the thing is, they were married very young. So he has an entire different view on relationships. But he's not happy with Momofa. The alternative 
is be unhappily married instead of being single. And she's not even single. She just has a girl. <laughs> but he, she doesn't have to tell him that. Piece of shit. Yeah, all the good ones are taken. Because you're such a good guy. I love you. You're such a great guy. Because you're so happy in your relationship in marriage, right? You're at a prize here. Yes, all the good ones are taken. Oh, she's proud. <laughs> proud. I do. Mother's old boyfriend. Oh. What? Is that something you've told her? The key I word knew. is old, darling. We were in grade school together. I knew mommy, or not mommy, I knew the daughter had an inkling there. She misunderstood. I was right on that. <laughs> I knew it because because the kid was looking between them like, you're here often. I know my mom and my dad aren't really pleased to be with each other anymore, but you're here often. I don't trust that. And now old boyfriend. Ooh, it's going to cause maybe another rift between the daughter and mom because she will be very offended for the dad's sake if she really thinks something is happening between this person and mommy. Oh no. At least you've not gone political though. All the interesting people are getting very tedious these days. No one ever calls me tedious. Money. Is that all it is? I don't have enough to worry about. Anything I can do? <laughs> She's so yes. funny. Be a spoiled rich girl for a while. Remind people that's who you are. What have we done, Belle? She's worried. We've chosen a side. We're fighting against the dark, making something of our lives. Oh, I love these two. I know I had to warm up for Vel, but shit. Be careful. Oh, what an interesting twist. And there she stands, alone, clustered in. Good visualization there. Oh, he's making another move. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey. To a coin. I know who you are. Nice. He's like, yeah. I wanted to thank you for the promotion. I had nothing to do with it. Well, my boss seems to think that you did. We simply gave you a clean bill of health. Have you been waiting out here? Yes. He wants more. I'd never lie to you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Something popped in my head right there, and it's bad. <laughs> I mean, because he's acting so silly towards her, but maybe because he doesn't have so much affection from his mom. <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah, you helped me get a promotion. Oh, yeah, I would never lie to you. <laughs> you complimented me a little bit. Yay. <laughs> He's all flustered because of that. Oh, no. You can't be my mommy now. <laughs> I needed to find you, and it's not that easy to thank you for what you did. Ooh. And to follow on, and try to follow on the conversation we had last month. That wasn't a conversation. You were brought in for questioning. Are you stalking me? I know you work here, and I come sometimes to see if I'll see you. Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? I thought I was done. After meeting you and discovering you understood how dangerous Cassie and Andor was, and just being in your presence, I... <laughs> Sorry! I realized that life was worth living. I realized that... that it's stop it, stop it. I know he's talking about Cassie and Andor and the professionalism. I think he's only doing it for that, but it just makes it seem like... He's, he's just like, oh, oh my god, I'm in love with you because you see the recognition and you see how much of a danger Cash and Andor is. You know he got off from that other dude who was like, yes, sir, you're absolutely right, sir. Measures, good measures, sir. He loved that. And now he found another equal mindset and he's like, oh my god, and you're a woman. <laughs> he got off on it, so it's kind of funny. I think else there was justice and beauty in the galaxy and if it just kept going. Beauty? Beauty? Wait, 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 wait. I realized that life was worth living. I realized that if nothing else, there was justice and beauty in the galaxy. And if it just kept going. Shut up. Perhaps my deranged belief that there was something better faded for me in the future was it Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't touch. Don't worth touch. Worth clinging to. Worth clinging to. I could have you arrested. You're aware of that. I want what you want. Bruh. I sense it. You're out of your mind. You come near me again, you pursue any of this, and I swear I'll have you in a cage on the outer rim. Ooh. I'm a little bit... Mm. Oh. Wait, what are you doing? I mean, yeah, there's the... The, the, uh, the beauty bit really threw me off. I'm like, are, are you really... 
is this really happening right now? I'm just hoping he's only gunning for a partnership and not a partnership here because that he shouldn't have touched her. I mean, he's desperate and he really wants to pursue Cashin still, I think. He made so many calls towards ISB just because of Cashin. He's still obsessing over it, but now I'm kind of worried how it's going to show itself to the world. She's like, oh my god, all these stalkers. Steve, just came in, they picked up a rebel pilot an hour ago. From our target list? No, random, but he's using a stolen Imperial masking unit. Where are they holding him? A destroyer off Steergard. Get Dr. Gorst, send him out there immediately. I already did. He's on his way. Do you want to go? Yes. No, there's no time. I'll interrogate remotely. Good work. Mm. Go. Yeah, they're a good unit. Very good unit. He knows what she wants. There were better ways to do this. We need to be sure that the work you've done so far isn't going to come back to haunt you. That can't all be hidden. 400,000 credit withdrawal that's proving a bit of a problem. It appears on the ledger, then it vanishes. The easiest thing would be a deposit. If I had that much sitting around, I wouldn't have burdened you. How much trouble am I in? Shit. Well, there's no trouble at all unless they scan the accounts. But that's coming. Time is not unlimited. Jesus. I need a loan. A certain kind of loan. You seem to have thought this through. Oh, boy. Oh, no. We need a Chandrill and Banker with treasury relationships. Do we trust You have him? someone in mind. It's not a long list. And yet you're afraid to say who it is. Davos Calden. He is not a banker. He's a thug. The wealthiest thug of them all. Don't tell me you've spoken to him already. I wanted to bring you a solution. It's the devil. That you're feeling constricted by the new tax laws. It's common enough. A senator, 400,000 missing. What will he think? I think it's just like everyone else he works with. You want what's yours. At what cost? He wants to meet you. Oh my God, already. He wants already... to meet here. Oh. <sighs> It's already in motion. She, what choice does oh, she have? Oh, here. You must be joking. Is that her opponent in her political environment? I maybe remember her saying that in the very beginning. I'm not quite sure. I don't really remember who he is. But she is not happy about that. And that means she would be indebted to him. And that's the lost position she wants to be in. I could keep looking. How much time do you have? It was a routine customs check. No. That's the beauty of it, sir. He flashed an Imperial profile for a moment, then vanished. They thought it was odd and pursued. He thought he'd get away. This was the Dr. Gorst interview. Yes, sir. Confidence is high. He got the pilot talking almost immediately. Apologies. We were off site. We've got a rebel pilot in custody, one of Anto Krieger's group. He was picked up at a customs check. We don't think Krieger knows he's gone missing yet. He's telling us there's a raid planned on the power station at Spellhouse. On his way to Kafreen. They'll count him missing soon enough. Exactly. We don't want Krieger getting spooked. Can't oh. hang on to him. We can't let him go. Make it look like an accident. No. There's too much at stake if I were Krieger. It would be suspicious. Maybe sabotage? Moving forward. What if we foul the ship? An accident, something mechanical. Have the pilot found dead in the cockpit. What would happen? They'd have to find it, but they'd tow it into Kafreen. If we did it quickly, staged it properly, let it drift into traffic. Make it so top priority quickly and carefully we leave no trace. Excellent work. Mm. I want a meeting with military intelligence immediately about Spellhouse. Oh, she's Petsko. Favorite right now. Oh, she's doing well for herself here, man. This is what he wanted for her. He believed in her from the start, even when he was scolding her. I mean, it's good to have a boss like that, I'm not gonna lie. He's a good boss, he's a good manager. Fuck, why? <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm so worried about him. He's not doing okay. Inmates on program. Two takes the shift by six racks and three. No table five. Table one in the box. Oh, thank God. I don't think he can survive another hit from the floor. He's not, he is not doing well. If another shock hits him, shh, that's not gonna end well. Olaf, come on, let's get this done. I'm so worried. He has like 40 He's shifts done. left. Yes. On program. <laughs> cover him, cover him. Cover him. <laughs> Inmates on program. Program in place. No, 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 no. Oh, I feel so sad. This is... They don't get care. It's just sad. <laughs> Olaf would not survive that. Get up. He needs a doctor. It's the cell. Olaf! We're ready. Right. Come on. Get moving. There you go. All right. All right. Take his head. Tell him we need a med tech up here. Hang in there, Olaf. You've only got a few shifts left. 
be going home. How much enjoyment can he still have? It's so sad. I know they're supposed to be prisoners and therefore they're bad people. But as you know, a lot of people are there wrongly accused. And the Empire is just plain evil. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of nuance in the characters who work for the Empire. Yeah, and I'm not saying everyone is bad, but the Empire itself, it's no good. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna root for the prisoners, obviously. Let's go. Is that the medic? Here he comes, Ole. I'm worried. We'll have you back to yourself soon enough. I'm worried. What's gonna happen? I haven't seen you for a while. I'm going anywhere. Also a prisoner. Name's Olaf. I've seen him before. Hold that. If something happens to Olaf, I feel like Kino, I believe his name is Kino, the supervisor, is not going to be happy. And maybe that's the push he needs to set everyone in rebellion because he has the power. He is the one who needs to be convinced, which is why Cassian is working on him. Because he has the power in the room and he has probably the most influence to get the room in action. I've only got 40 shifts left. I'm going to get him up and about. Look at me, brother. His name is Olaf. I don't want to know his name. Oh. Distancing himself. He's been tough. But ooh, the look out in his eyes, it's telling me he doesn't like that. He's got 40 shifts left. He cares. So we just want something to get him through the next few days. That's another option. What do you mean? What? You can't save him. Nothing to save. What, because he's a prisoner? He's had a massive stroke. What? What? I can't help him. No. I can't help anyone. I need a bag and a trolley. He's coming. He'll pass peacefully, which is more than I can say for the rest of us. Another week like this, and you'll be begging for what he's getting. No, another what week. What do you mean? You heard me. All his shoulders. What do you mean? What happened on level two? You want to keep your men in line? You'll feel nothing. Anyone. What do you mean? Keep my men in line. What happened down on two? He wants to know now. I need a bag and a trolley. I said it's coming. Ooh. He did that on purpose so he can leave and he can tell. I made a mistake. A what man who was just released on four ended up back on two the next day. Well, got out on the floor and then they killed them all. You need those other men there. They're just leaving. Now. It was a mistake on their part, making them die? You heard me. No one's getting out. <gasps> Just reassigned. Not, Not after this. At least your friend is free. You two, on program now. The reassigned? Shut up, so 41... This is why he couldn't help Olaf, because he would just be reassigned to another room. Nobody is getting out, which is why two... It's getting even more fed up and pissed off. And they started to rebel, maybe, which is why they were fried. Nobody's getting out. That's so messed up. Ow. Oh, hands on your heads. Move. Oh, Olaf. Let's go. He's not coming out either. How oh, many guards on each level? Ooh! Never more than 12. He's got him. He's got him, he's got him, he's got him. Because he, now he knows he's not coming out either. He has 200 something shifts left, nah ah He's going to another room then. Nobody's getting out now. There's only one way out and that's through rebellion. Yeah, goodbye. I have nothing to say. <laughs> what the fuck? My mind is blown. How dare they? How dare they? Well, at least we got Kino on board. I think his name is that, okay? The supervisor. I'm just gonna call him supervisor because I don't want to mess it up. Because he was like, I don't want to hear it. I'm just gonna do my time because I'm nearly out. And then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave this all behind. But now they're just getting reassigned. Am I getting that right? And now obviously Chu was pissed off about that because the rumor came out like, hey, I was supposed to be there. I was supposed to be out, but now I'm here. And he knows he's not getting out either. Olaf was not getting out either. 
So why would he keep performing? For what? For what? He can't get out? Prison break. It's gonna be a prison break. It's gonna be a prison break. Oh, I'm so excited. I wanna watch the other episode, the next episode right now. I, I'm not I'm not gonna even say anything. It speaks for itself, right? <laughs> what do you want me to say here? It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, all I can say is leave a like if you're really enjoying these videos. I know I am. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out the next episode. I feel like it's gonna be an amazing climax. If you wanna support the channel, here's my Patreon. That would really help me out. You get early access and even extended longer cuts of Andor and any other content that I make for reactions. So hey, maybe check it out. And I guess I will see you in the very next episode of Andor.